back to another video here on Chicken Addiction. Today we're going to be adding another video to the Informational September series. I wanted to contribute my little part for back to school videos, so I decided to do informational videos um, all about chicken. We actually have a little series going now, and I actually made a playlist. It's called Informational September. So I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. It's kind of like a next step for Chicken Addiction. I'm actually really proud that we have a playlist going now, and I'm I'm really happy for like what I decided to do for Informational September. So. Yeah, I'm kind of proud of how this channel is turning out. We are going to be getting new chickens today. Meat chickens from the hatchery, so we can get some chicken for the winter. So we're going to be filling on with meat chickens. You guys are going to see that today. And then I'm also going to be adding three birds to my personal flock. I was looking on Kijiji, just, I always kind of do. I always kind of like, I guess. And I found a free chicken, and I'm going to actually go and get it today. And then I'm also going to be getting two new chicks. Yes, two more. Certain breed. I love the Orpingtons. I've been very, very interested in investing in more to add to my flock. And that's when I came across Lavender Orpingtons. And I have honestly been in love with this breed, like, forever since I had chickens. But I actually found some. But the fun thing is, these ones are actually reasonably priced. I thought I'd treat myself a little because Chicken Addiction has done so well. So I'm so excited to get those little babies today. I I can't wait. The color is beautiful. They're just gorgeous, nice hardy birds, which is good for the Canadian winter somewhere. So you just so you can just see how beautiful they are when they're full grown. Put a picture of the male and the female on the screen somewhere. We're going to be having lots of chickens around here for a little while. We always, of course, have chickens with my flock, but we're going to be adding 60 more. How to add a new bird to your existing flock. I think this is so important to learn because so many people need to do it, and so many people don't really know how to do it properly. Um, without like causing any sort of stress to any of your birds. So I'm going to be teaching you guys that today. So stay tuned if you're interested. I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so yesterday we worked on cleaning the meat pen out. We had to clean it because after July, after we processed them and everything. So we did a nice deep clean in here. I really just cleaned everything, scraped everything off. And this is their feeder for when they're older. Also, we do have a chandelier in the chicken coop. And then we also have a heater in here for when we get them today, and then we'll just have to put a heat lamp in here. So we're pretty much all ready to go for the meat birds. It's just a small little area. They're only going to be in here when they are chicks. Once they get any older than that, we're going to be adding them to a new spot. We are now in the car, and we're on our way to the hatchery, and then we're gonna go pick up the two little chicks and our Silky. <laughs> we're coming with us. Yeah, you coming with us? Look how cute her hair is, guys. Like. Her hair just makes her 100% cuter when she has little pigtails. <laughs> All right, we're on our way to go and get our chicks. I will update you guys in a little bit. Yeah? Okay, so I just got my two lavender Orpingtons. We just got back from the hatchery and picked up our 60 meat birds. They usually give us a bit extra, so we might end up with like 70 or something. Here are the lavenders. Aren't they adorable, guys? Like the color is already gorgeous. They are a bit older than I thought they were, so they're probably like a week or two old already, which is perfect. And then our meat birds are in a big box in the back with Emberly. <laughs> There's Emberly. And that big box has all of our meat chickens in it. Oh my goodness, it keeps on falling. Obviously, we got a double order this time. Super excited um, for these lavender girls. I can't wait to get them home. I'm, I'm not sure if they're girls yet. I'm really hoping they are. Okay, so I only got the Lavender Orpingtons right now um, because the other girl who was supposed to be bringing me the free chicken had a hard time catching her. So um, she's actually going to bring that chicken to my house around three and it's currently 11 right now. So we're going to get the free chicken still today, just in a couple hours. Please stay tuned for that because like that's pretty much the whole, whole point of this video is getting a free chicken and showing you guys how to add it to my flock. So hopefully that still happens today. I'm fingers crossed. It's super cute, it's a silky cross. I'll update you guys when we get back home. Alright guys, so we made it home. I have the little lavender orpingtons right here. There's the two of them. I have their little house ready. I just have to put food and water in there. Okay, so I'm going to put them in here now.
and Camille have actually moved outside now. I seriously, seriously need to do an updated video because so many things have changed. I've gotten so many new birds. I've gotten rid of a lot of birds. So glad I decided to spoil myself a little um, with a breed I've been wanting for a while. <laughs> Look how calm and chilled they are. They're honestly a really cool color right now, like kind of an off gray kind of color. They will get more purpley and like lavender like when they get older. Like, of course, they're not going to be vibrant. So grateful that I get to buy all these chicks all the time. Um, I usually don't buy chicks because I can, of course, hatch my own, but I'm really grateful that I can take care of chickens and, like, my parents actually let me have a whole bunch of chickens and, like, a flock of birds because it's just so much fun. Anyways, let's go check on the meat birds because they're all settled in now. We got them food and water. We got them new shavings. I cleaned out their pen yesterday um, because, you know, chicks have a lower immune system. You got to make sure everything's all nice and clean for them. Okay, so I'm in the barn again with the meat birds. And they may look cute now, but as they get older, they're just going to be getting more ugly. <laughs> That's what they look like right now. Just little cute baby chicks. That's what they are doing right now. We just took them out of the box. Look at this giant box they came in. That was their box. It had like four sections. And then we have three feeders in here, two waters, and a heat lamp, and then a heater. The electrolytes in their water. That's just always a tip that we do for all of our chicks, especially our meat birds. Poor little electrolytes never hurt anybody. Like I said, some of these will be for us, and some of these will be for some other people who want to purchase chicken that's, you know, more healthier because it's not filled with a whole bunch of stuff like the chicken at the stores, so. This is a Cornish giant chick, the fastest growing broiler bird out of all the broiler birds. I will try and vlog along the process of our meat chickens. It might not look like there's much of a difference between these chicks and a regular chick, right now but as they get older just wait things will get ugly these guys will get bigger 60 new meat chickens we've never gotten this much before okay hey guys update time i literally just got home with our newest addition to the flock i almost just said her name make sure to stay tuned for another video because in my next video i'll be announcing her name i have one picked out i just don't want to tell you guys yet i want to keep it a surprise I want to thank this family so very much because they just needed to rehome her and they were rehoming her for free and they were also rehoming a lot of her supplies and they pretty much delivered her to me for free as well. I'm so happy I now have another female Sophie. I have her right here. Um, I have her a little area set up right now and then we're going to talk about like how to add a new bird to your flock but we're going to meet her for the very first time. <laughs> top of everything else this girl is truly beautiful she kind of looks like one of the birds i have already she is about four or five months old i seriously got a free female silky today i can't believe that Okay guys, so let's talk about the learning informational stuff for today's video. I'm so excited. We literally just got a free silky hen. I just want to say thank you because I'm so grateful. So I want to talk about why I just put her in her own little area instead of just straight away throwing her with the rest of my flock. So first of all, you want to keep your bird's stress level at zero or at least under 10. If they start getting stressed and worked up, you can see a lot of problems and a lot of issues come with that. So you want to keep their stress levels as low as possible. You don't want them to be stressed. You want them to be happy and pretty much living their best life. So um, the easiest way and the most stress-free way to put your birds into a existing flock with your existing birds is to find a separate area to put him or her in. And you can keep them in that quarantined area for as little as a couple hours or as long as two weeks. Of course, keep on checking on them. Of course, give them water and food. I think they get way too lonely if you just kept one in there for like over a week. Um, so I'm actually going to let her out around eight o'clock tonight and it's gonna be dark by then. So none of the other birds will see her until the morning. And that will make sure that there's as little as possible stress and as little as possible fighting because Fighting can cause stress and it can just, it's not really good to have fighting in your flock. It's kind of hard to avoid with chickens. That's what I did for a lot of my other little or bantam chickens and they have hardly got picked on. So this technique really works. I'd really encourage it if you guys are getting new birds. I feel like this is a topic that a lot of people need to know more about because a lot of people actually do it wrong and cause a lot of stress for their birds. And they kind of just like rush their birds into the process, which is not best either. You basically just find an area to quarantine your birds in 
and just let them get used to their surroundings. And whenever you feel like it's a good day to let them out with the rest of the flock, make sure to do it in the dark. So probably at night would be best. And just let them out and see what everyone does. Like. They can look through the wire, but nobody can touch each other. Nobody can fight each other. Everyone just stays a whole lot safer. So this technique just keeps everyone a whole lot happier. It provides more safety for the new birds. This is just her temporary spot and then she'll be out with the rest of the teenager birds and she'll be added to the flock. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was my crazy and exciting day and I hope this video helped you in some way. Please make sure to leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Please make sure to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to join my chicken journey and to see more videos like this. Also hit that notification bell. I will see you guys in my very next video here on Chicken Edition.